Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. The channel is Deb Chanel's 48th World where we get down and dirty and talk about celebrities and the gossip that is on them. Okay, some drop their own gossip out there to stay relevant and then you got the people like the paparazzi and the news anchor people and bloggers out there trying to get those salacious stories to be the first to put them out. Okay, on these celebrities and how they get down. All right, so I'm coming to you with the who, what, when, where, why, and lastly, how in the entertainment and celebrity world of living. Yes, you're on Dev Chanel's 4 Days World, and we're going to break it down to you. Now, don't quote me on this. This is all allegedly, and that's pretty much my show is, you know. Take it for what it's worth. Take it. Take it for, you know, how I put it out there. It's not the gospel truth. But, hey, some reports that it could be true, you know. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I'm getting, getting it from reputable sources. Okay, TMZ, you know, Harvey, uh, uh, Harvey Levin, he's the owner of TMZ, blogging, uh, what do you call it, YouTube station. However you want to view them, they gossip and they get stories. I mean, sometimes some salacious stories on these entertainers out here. Now, the ones we're going to be covering today is Mr. Bobby Brown. Now, I don't know. My pictures are on point. But the rest pictures where they're taking him off a plane and that is jet blue he was on. They said he was being disruptive on that plane. Now, at one point, we couldn't even find Bobby Brown. They said he was like got hit by somebody or whatever, and he's just up, held up somewhere to, to uh, be on the men's. But I don't know. This guy, he could be like Bobby Brown, but it's kind of fuzzy, so I'm not sure. So take this information with a grain of salt, all right? A grain of salt is out there. This is what they're reporting as true, T, but I don't know. It may not be, okay? So just bite into it. If you don't like it, throw it out. If you don't care for it, turn off the video. You know, it just is what it is. Okay, but anyway, we get this story. Like I said, it's from TMZ. And then you got Celebrity uh, Insider doing the story as well. You got the guru. However you want to pick it up after you get off this video. You can go research it on your own, all right? But we get it strictly from a reporter, a journalist at TMZ camp okay they title it bobby brown taking off plane cops call to the gate okay they won't let him go they won't let him out they won't let him out of the state they won't let him out they won't let him go out of state <laughs> lord i tell you let's get on into this article okay it said at 3 11 p.m pacific standard time zone a rep for JetBlue tell us Brown was removed. That's Bobby Brown now, okay? Removed from the aircraft prior to departure after crew members observed indications of intoxication. And it's how it's allegedly, okay? We don't know. We just dropping tea, okay? We are just dropping tea. Take it for what it's worth, okay? The decision to remove a customer from a flight is not taken lightly. In this instance, the customer was offered a seat on a later flight. The customer declined and was issued a refund. Okay, so they pretty much were telling uh, Bobby, uh, we know you are inebriated. You probably couldn't take a, a test, a breather analyzer test and pass. But I don't understand. They could have like maybe let him slip it off, uh, you know, but unless he was just belligerent and he just wanted to fight everybody on the plane, something that, something of that nature, I can understand them pulling back in the gate <laughs> for not even taking off, okay? His notoriety didn't get him uh, the position to stay on the plane, okay? Because evidently he had been cutting up, okay? I'm just saying, this is my observation or reading this story, okay? But going back to the article, it said at 1.15 p.m., Pacific Standard Time, sources with direct knowledge and witnesses tell TMZ they believe JetBlue jumped the gun by throwing Bobby off the plane. Passengers sitting around Bobby say he was not disruptive and did not interfere with the flight crew. Although he admitted to drinking before boarding, he was not being difficult and did not make a fuss when he was told he couldn't have a drink. We don't know if Bobby was drunk. But even if he was, he was passive, okay? 
thing, meaning he was just, you know, there. He was in the in the moment, in the mood of it all. Okay, he wasn't being like loud and abrasive and probably gonna smack somebody upside the head. There were witnesses saying he was just sitting up in the chair waiting for it to take off, okay? So I don't know who was trying to mess with Mr. Bobby Brown, okay? But getting back to the commentary, it said Bobby Brown was removed from the flight and the incident ended with everyone having to have to deboard while cops sorted out the mess, causing Bobby to miss his flight, okay? Not just his flight, the other people's flight too. They was holding up everybody just to check little Bobby Brown being drunk. Is that a crime? He wasn't operating a vehicle. He damn sure wasn't driving that plane, okay? So I'm, I'm, I'm really baffled at all of this. How about you guys, okay? I know y'all got to get in them comments, but let's finish up this commentary, okay? Because we don't want to tear it too long. All right, it said uh, sources above aboard the jet, which was scheduled to leave LXA, meaning Los Angeles. Now, we did have a report that he was up in Los Angeles, but they were saying he had got mowed down by a car. So, I, you know, I was anticipating, just like the other people that were hearing all the gossip on the streets, that he was in the hospital, or at least at home now, following some surgeries that, you know, he got uh, badly uh, bundled up. Somebody had hit him with a car. I mean, that's what was said out on these streets, okay, and all these social media airlines but we couldn't confirm nor deny okay but we did hear um some bloggers had some text messages he had told his fans or viewers that he was doing fine he was just you know resting and whatnot but he was chilled he was okay now we have him allegedly i like i said the pictures are kind of fuzzy that i had for you all uh to partake and see it could be Bobby, then again, it could not be Bobby, you know, I need, like, real close-up pictures, you know, like, somebody could have got a better ankle than what they were shooting for, but anyway, going back to the article, it said, um, sources aboard the jet, which was scheduled to leave LX, uh, LAX for Boston Monday morning, tell us Brown was sitting in first class when he was involved in some sort of altercation before the plane took off. We're told the incident led to the airline ordering everyone off the plane. Brown was held at the entrance door while everyone else got off and cops were called to, to the gate to speak with him. Okay. All right. This is other sources saying once he was off the plane, Brown could be heard yelling at the officers that he had to get to his brother's funeral. At one point, there were four cops surrounding him, but they were able to calm him down. By the way, as far as we know, a Brown family sources tell us it was actually one of Bobby's cousins who passed. Hey, that's um, a, a cousin or a family member, maybe sister, brother, I don't know. Because this dirt against the story that Bobby Brown was trying to tell, making him look even more stupider uh, in reference to the cops questioning him as well as the viewers, the fans, you know. I mean, the, the man was, well, you know, even if you're inebriated, if you're drunk, you still should know what uh, person you're going to eulogize or you're going to partake of a funeral. But, you know, I guess in his world, he don't have to have all those, uh, <laughs> all those, that information privy, okay? Who knows with Bobby Brown? But getting back to the story, it said, um, Eventually, everyone was allowed back on the plane except Bobby. It's unclear if he was arrested, but we've confirmed he did not get back on the plane, which which has since departed. Flight records show the flight was delayed almost an hour. We reached out to Bobby's camp so far. No word. No word was published back. Okay, they were like, uh-uh, we're putting this on hush, hush. Okay, because there's still some dialogue out there about did he actually get uh, hit by a car, you know, with somebody trying to, you know, infringe on his life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, they're trying to take the brother out for some odd reason. Okay. And now we're seeing him, what we think is a picture of him. Okay. Could be a, a nice lookalike. I'm not sure. Just to clear up that misunderstanding that Leola Brown had put out. That he was injured, that he was he almost got killed, and all this other stuff. I don't know. You know, all of us have salacious stories. 
you get a little bit of truth, you get a little bit of uh, you get a little bit of truth and a lot of lies mixed in. And whatever you come out of that jumbo of a mess of a pot that you're trying to partake of is what you get in the end. Okay, so I leave it up to you all to tell me what y'all thought about this breakout of a story about Bobby Brown. You know the um, what do you call it? One fifth? Or is it one sixth? Of the new edition group, uh, I guess it was five of them at one time. Let's see, Ricky, Bobby, Ronnie, Mike, Ralph. Okay, yeah, it was five of them before they had Johnny Gill, and then that made them a six. Okay, six member team. But we ain't gonna get into that. That's another whole story with another whole ball of wax waiting to sift out. Okay, but that's all I had on this story on Bobby Brown. Was it him or was it not him? Was it somebody looking like him uh, to make us think otherwise of a story that was put out on him two weeks prior? I don't know. There's the mystery in this video, okay? Y'all get down in them comments. Tell me what y'all think, if y'all inclined to do so, or however you feel about it, you know. Definitely share my videos if you like them. Definitely, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so and like them as well. But I will see you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.